Now for this demo, I was gonna use my own pose model, but I want you to be able to follow along. So I'm gonna hit the comma key, go in here to the project tab, which should be the default open, and go in here to demo projects, and let's go ahead and open up the uh, Earthquake Z project. So if I double click this, that'll load up the model, and you're gonna see we have an entirely posed model. However, when this model was created, if you, um, you know, you can Alt-Tap to select the subtool, we're gonna select his body here, go into solo mode, and I'm gonna go in here to geometry, say subdivision levels of one. You're gonna see when this model was originally created, he was created symmetrically. You know, he had a midline down his body, he was probably in an A pose, and then after the fact, it was uh, posed out. So with that knowledge, let's go back into solo mode here. Uh, with that knowledge, we can go down here to poly paint, and you're gonna see we have flip by posable symmetry, mirror by posable symmetry, and underneath masking, we have a flip and mirror by posable symmetry as well. And the reason why this, let's go ahead and turn on perspective as well. The reason why this model is so good is it kind of really is able to show off how useful uh, those two new options can be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alt tap this wrap on his hand here. We're gonna go into subtool and we're gonna say taping. We're gonna turn that eyeball off and then we're gonna alt tap on his body or just go select it in the subtool stack. And now we have an open palm and on his other hand, we have a closed palm. Well, what if I wanted to poly paint on his open palm after he's been posed out, but I wanted it to be on both palms. So for instance, I have my uh, standard brush. Let's do BPA to go into our paint brush. Uh, that'll go ahead and select RGB for us. I'm gonna switch this to a yellow color and we're gonna put a big yellow dot in his palm. However, if I wanna go into his other palm here and put in a big yellow dot, you're gonna see it's like, I'm gonna have to go through here and I have to like control shift and like get rid of his fingers. And that's assuming I do have polygroups for his fingers or if I don't, I gotta go and create polygroups and try to sneak in there and get uh, access to the inside of his palm. However, because he was created symmetrically. ZBrush is able to look at these points uh, and then evaluate the other side of the mesh as well. So with this poly paint over here, and go all the way down here to poly paint, and there is now again a flip by posable symmetry, which is essentially going to take this poly paint and flip it over to the other side. Or if I undo that, there's a mirror by posable symmetry, which is going to put it on the other side there. So now you can see we have a yellow dot on both hands. However, you're gonna notice immediately that it kind of diluted both of them. So if I undo that again, you can see it's nice bright yellow. If I go over here and say mirror, it kind of dilutes both sides. And the reason it's doing that is it's evaluating uh, the polypane across the entire mesh. This is where masking is gonna come in. So we've already talked about this in previous videos where you can mask uh, your last change points. And because our last change points, if we scroll back through our history here, so here he, is, here he is just regular, just loaded up. And then here we've made a change, right? We've, we've gone through here and we've painted, we've changed these points. Oops, again, BPA for our paintbrush. Uh, we've changed these points. And so if I go in here and mask change points, that's going to mask the last change points that we've had. And also we have underneath the masking option. Now that we have this mask, we can flip that masking. So we've flipped it over here to the other hand. Or if I undo that, we can mirror by posable symmetry. So you're gonna see it's gonna be masked over here and masked over here. So how we can use this to our advantage in the poly paint situation, I'm gonna undo back to where we had just made that poly paint change. So again, I'm going to mask change points. I'm going to flip those change points. So I'm gonna flip the masking over to his other hand. I'm gonna control tap to invert that mask. And then down here underneath poly paint, I'm going to say mirror by symmetry. And now you're gonna see it's going to take those poly painted points and just fill it with that exact poly paint color and leave the rest of the object alone. So when I control drag, nothing else has changed and it maintained the full poly paint value for both the right and the left hand. So let's drag back through our undos here. So we're just at that, uh, or again, that start state. Uh, we can go through here, we have our paintbrush, we'll do a drag rect. Uh, we'll go in here to texture. We'll just grab a, a texture in here. And of course you can import your own textures if you wanna you know, bring in a tattoo or anything like that, you can go through here and you can just start stamping uh, your RGB if you want to. You can take this focal shift down to negative 100, get a nice solid stamp on here. So again, if you want to go through and tattoo one side, poly paint, flip by posable symmetry to put it on the other side. Of course, if you don't want to change uh, your poly paint average across the entire model, just remember, mass change points, flip, and in this case actually, you see, we did a mass change points. However, 
it didn't mask all it didn't mask all the change points it basically gave us a gradient of like these change a little bit more these change a little bit less based on the rgb value so instead of let's undo back so we've changed these points with our polypane instead of doing mass change points with a closed circle let's do open circle and remember from our previous videos that's going to give us a boosted mask so any points that change at all are going to be fully masked so we're going to say mass change points open circle and then go down here to flip control tap to invert and then mirror by opposable symmetry and now the tattoo is mirrored on both sides didn't change any of the other poly paint and we're good to go now if we did want to flip what i would say probably end up doing is i'm going to go over here to mass change points fully boosted i'm going to mirror so it's masked on both sides control tap to invert that and then i'm going to say poly paint flip and then control drag. So that way none of the other poly paint gets average or anything like that. And I can literally just flip uh, the poly paint over to the other side. Now this is all fine and good for one stroke, but what if we want to do, let's go again, let's undo back uh, to where we just had the regular uh, object here and we'll go back to his hand. Uh, we'll take, change our paint back to dot stroke, go to texture off, we'll change it to a yellow color. And now I'm going to do, let's say a smiley face. So I'm going to put, let's change our focal shift back to zero. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to paint in uh, yellow and then I'm gonna go over here to a black color and we're gonna put a smiley face so I'm doing multiple strokes here to get that smiley face and now I want to mirror or flip all of this poly paint over to his other fist however when I go over here to mask change points it's only gonna mask that last stroke that I did so remember you have to go up here you have full access to this too. go back through your undo history to where nothing was changed or where just the strokes that you want to grab are not changed control tap that to store that point in history then we'll move all the way forward and now when we do mass change points it's going to mask all the points that were changed let's say we want it on both sides so both fists are going to have smiley faces in them so we're going to go over here to masking we're going to mirror by posable symmetry so now both of his fists are fully masked out where the smiley face is going to go control tap to invert that and then we're going to go back down here to poly paint and again we could flip at this point and just put the smiley face in his other fist just because hey it's easier to paint over here and now i want it over here or if you want it on both sides just undo that and say mirror by posable symmetry although before i do that you're going to see i'm going to go ahead and mask this entire side out so when i do a mirror by posable symmetry it's going to leave this poly paint alone and mirror it over to this side so if you're going to do a flip i should probably say this if you want to flip it you can't mask it because if you have it masked, it's going to keep it over there. So if I do a flip, it's going to be essentially a mirror. So you need it unmasked over here and unmasked over here, and then you can flip. So it'll be take it from this side, put it on this side. However, if you want it mirrored, I would say mask this side and then do a mirror. And that'll go ahead and keep all of this intact, not average any polygon or any polypane RGB values. And then it'll mirror it uh, perfectly onto the other side. So now again, easier to get at over here really difficult to get over here now one thing i should mention for sculpting if i uh, have this and let's go ahead and control click in our our point in history just so we can get rid of those stored points there uh, i'm going to go to bc brush chisel uh, creature and we'll go ahead and again grab the scales and we'll turn off mrgb so we're not painting on our model here and you're going to see actually as i go through and drag uh, with x symmetry turned on you know it's only symmetrical across the world axis. And even if I turn on local symmetry, um, it's just basically straight up and down is where that axis is. If I turn on my floor, you're going to see basically it's putting that axis point in a straight line. However, if we go over here to our transform menu, you're going to see we do have a use posable symmetry button. So if we go ahead and click that on, that's going to look at the model and see that it has posable symmetry. So now when I go through here, I can sculpt uh, across the symmetry line of the actual object. So again, it's evaluating, you know, subdivision level one, and it's seeing there's a symmetrical line there. And then as you're sculpting, it's trying to sculpt, you know, here's the bicep, here's the bicep, it's trying to sculpt uh, across that symmetry axis on the model. One more thing I want to talk about is the speed that this is going to work at. So uh, going back over here to transform activate symmetry and then using posable symmetry, you see if I turn on use posable symmetry, it'll store that posable symmetry and then you'll have a delete posable symmetry. So if I go ahead and delete that, so again, we're not using posable symmetry. I turn off X symmetry, which is by tapping X, so just deactivate symmetry essentially. Uh, and we go over here and okay, I'm going to mask on this side and then I want to 
uh, send that mask over to the other arm. Now, if I don't have posable symmetry stored and I go over here to masking uh, flip by posable symmetry, you're gonna see it's gonna take kind of a, it's gonna take a beat before it sends it over. Um, that's because it's having to find uh, posable symmetry and then send it over. However, if I undo that, say activate symmetry, say use posable symmetry to go ahead and store it. And then now if we turn that off and we say, okay, I wanna say take a mask over here and I wanna send it over and I click uh, flip by posable symmetry, it's pretty much instantaneous. So if you want a little bit of a faster response uh, with your uh, masking flipping or your polygon or your, um, what is it? Not poly groups, uh, poly paint flipping, wherever that is, just lost it. There it is. Uh, you can speed that up a little bit by going in here and making sure that you have uh, posable symmetry already stored for your object.